missed it. Do it again. Do it again. Nice, Molly. Game, set, match. Okay, so I was bored today, so I spent about 10 minutes. And as you can see, I put this tarp and a whole bunch of stuff around it. And I think you can see what I'm going to do. I got that leaf floor. So let's see how this works. Here we go. Okay, so I'm inside my blob. Um, it's not very spacey right now because it's not blown up. So I'm gonna blow it up and then start the video when it's blown up. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm in my blob and it's blowing up. Yeah, it's pretty loud. It's about 20 feet across by about seven feet. 7 by 20 about so yeah it's pretty big okay so it's a little nicer out today so I decided to set up a tent so yeah it's pretty nice it's made by West and I just set it up about uh, let's say 10 minutes ago the inside is pretty nice too like any other tent you know Okay, so just an update on the bullying situation thing. So, like I said, I was gonna get uh, bullying uh, sheets to like for people to report it. But I went into the office, and the school secretary, her name is Tracy. I don't know why, but she's really mean to me. So I asked if I could have some bullying sheets. She's like, "What?" And then I'm like, "Bullying sheets? I need some." Because I'm going to make a change. And then she's like, uh, absolutely not. You're going to have to have them come in by themselves. And you'll have to just say, go into the office and fill out a sheet. I'm like, so I got out of the office thinking, why did I just walk out? But what I really want is to just like, if I just say, go into the office and she'll take care of it. Well, yeah, she's kind of mean and... It's really intimidating to just sit there and just be like, oh, should I say that? So that's why mom wants me to be there. So I can say, and then you write this. What did they do next? Da, 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 da. That's an update on the Boeing situation. Also, added to the Boeing thing, there was a kid today that took my Frisbee away. So I'm like, come on, give it back and all that stuff. He didn't. So then I'm like, well... I'll just report this and whatever. So he just threw it to another friend and all that. Eventually they dropped it and I got it. And then I ran up to the top of the hill. And then he came out and I just stood there because I didn't want to get in trouble for like punching him or something. Because then he'd be crying, he'd be out on the ground, he'd have a bloody lip or something, you know. Then I'd be in a whole bunch of trouble. So I just stood there and I was ready for him to throw a punch at me or something. So I was ready for that. So then he he did he got me in a headlock and threw me to the ground so i got up and kicked him then he went down on the ground and he was like crying and all that and then i'm like well, that was only in self-defense so then i told the teacher that he took my frisbee and all that stuff because she said that i should report it as soon as it happened so that's what i did i reported it and then she took me to mr Naltz, which is the guidance teacher but he wasn't there so we had to there's another guidance counselor slash gym teacher. His name is Mr. Fletcher. He talked to it, uh, talked to us about it. So we got it all cleared up now. But yeah.